Rumor has it that Kepware is implementing a huge price increase. We're talking a minimum of 20%, and in some regions it can be even higher. And that's got a lot of people asking, how can we jump ship, and where would we even go? Hey there, my name is Christopher Sandoval, I'm a developer relations advocate here at Flowfuse. And today I'm going to show you exactly where you need to go, Node-RED and Flowfuse. I'll tell you why exactly you should migrate over to Flowfuse, and how you would go about doing it. So here's the deal. We knew that this was coming. In fact, we just talked about this exact issue in our recent webinar. Generally, if you take one of these investments over the next 10 years, the cost of money is at the very least 30, 40%. Say you keep the number of customers equal, then you need to be performing much better than you were because otherwise it's not worth the time and the effort. It's a quite expensive way to be customer. The big question is really how are they able to grow the product so it remains relevant? Uh, then also grow the customer base. And if they don't, then you'll see price increases to make it worth their investments, which are uh, probably double digits and hard to swallow. The worst part about this is that it's not just a single price increase. This is a signal about what users can expect under TPG and also how their relationship with Kepware itself is going to change. You see, TPG is well known for their cost structures and revenue performance focus. So if you're on Kepware right now, the chances are you're going to see your prices increase and then keep increasing and then probably increase even more. And that's super frustrating because in our opinion, you're already getting a bad deal. The Kepware flow in and of itself is not a great flow. You have super limited and custom drivers and solutions. You are basically locked down to what Kepware decides you should actually get to do. They promise the world, of course, and, and most closed source propriety systems do that. But then when you get in there, all of a sudden you realize, well, Kepware is really just a protocol translator. But if you need more, well, they're very happy to sell you Kepware server and they're very happy to sell you custom solutions. We kind of think the deal that you're getting as a Kepware consumer is already a raw deal. And to be clear, this isn't just us guessing. We're not just throwing shade at the competition. This is something that we've seen time and time again, and we have experts to back us up. The balance sheet is where the private equity firms are gonna work hard. So they're gonna make you sell inventory, increase payables, and reduce accounts receivable to maximize the cash coming out of the business. So because of all of this, there's a ton of fear in the market. And that fear is amplifying the big question. What are my options and what do I do? Now we really believe that Node-RED and Flowfuse is your best option moving forward. But of course I'm going to say that. I'm the Devro for Flowfuse, right? Well, let me give you some direct answers as to why Node-RED and Flowfuse are your best choices. So first off, Flowfuse is built on an open source base. And what that means is that this was built by a community of experts that are working in the industrial space. And they're working within the reality of building these solutions today, not way back in the 90s. Node-RED's open source community has created over 5,000 nodes that allow you to connect and transform pretty much anything. And because it's open source, if that node that you need doesn't exist, you can actually go develop it and bring it to the community. You don't have to wait for someone at Kepware to decide that you get to actually use the thing that you purchased. You're not locked into any sort of proprietary or closed source stack. And beyond the arguments of connectivity, that also gives you crazy flexibility. Sure, you can integrate with anything that you can imagine, but you can also do anything with that data. You can do regular things like deploying an MES or OPC UA, but you can also do things like creating your own local ONNX model. You can transform data in ways that Kepware never even imagined. You can build out and deploy agentic solutions directly in a dashboard. You can visualize your data, get insights in your data. Heck, if you wanted to, you could make 3D visualizations of your data. And because of that open source piece, you're not locked into some sort of vendor proprietary solution. And that doesn't just give you technical flexibility, it gives you business flexibility. Oh, and speaking of business, Node-RED and Flowfuse have actually transparent licensing and pricing models. Kepware sprang this cost on its users because it can't, and there's not much or anything that their users can do about it. But with Node-RED and Flowfuse, you know exactly what you can do with your data. You know exactly how the license works, and you know exactly how the pricing is going to work out. In other words, you know what you you can do with the solution and you know exactly how much it's going to cost you. And hey, if you don't like the cost or you don't like something that Flowfuse is doing in the future, you can fall back to Node-RED. It's free and open source. But I don't think you're going to do that because I think there's a lot of things about Flowfuse that you're going to find valuable. You see, it takes the beauty and efficiency of Node-RED and then gives you enterprise tooling. It allows you to manage devices, manage fleets of devices, 
to manage versioning, to roll back versions, even leverage novel AI tools that were built specifically for industrial use cases. We're talking actual agentic solutions that make sense and make your systems and factories better. So there's going to be a lot of people that look at something like FlowFuse and think, oh, it's just another connectivity solution. Is it really capable of doing what I need it to do? But you see, that's the difference with FlowFuse. FlowFuse decouples application logic from connectivity systems. Something like Kepler bridges those things together in an almost immutable way. But FlowFuse allows you to define your logic separate from your connectivity systems. In other words, we're not abstracting that L1 to L2 bridge behind some fancy connectors or proprietary drivers. We're not another connector solution or another Kepler. We're a fundamentally different way of connecting, transforming, and using your systems and data. We believe that everything should be powered by message and context. And because we've built that into the core of how our system works, FlowFuse offers you incredible control, observability, governance, and flexibility across every single layer. We're not an L1, L2 bridge. We are a flow-powered everything bridge. The fact is that you deserve modern solutions that are built for modern problems. Okay, so let's say you're sold on migrating, or at the very least you're sold on experimenting with the idea of migrating. So how can you actually get that process started? If you'd like to just get started exploring FlowFuse and looking at how everything works, you can head over to flowfuse.com for your free 14 day trial. And if you'd like a little bit more support, you can click the link in the description below or click the link in the corner of this video. That'll connect you directly with our migration team who is more than happy to help you through this process. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please give us a like, comment, or subscribe and check out the rest of our content to get a feel for how FlowFuse works and what you can do with it. This has been Christopher Sandoval. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.